there. Welcome. How are you doing today? It's Thursday. It's almost Friday. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. The weekend's almost here. Well, welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I am so thrilled that you're here today. Oh my gosh. Today I'm going to have such a wonderful meal preparing for you. So I hope you'll stick around and keep watching. So welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I'm Debbie Cuevas and I'm a certified health coach and I help people just like you make major improvements in their health and wellness. So today I am fixing a green chili and chicken enchilada casserole. Mm, my kitchen is smelling heavenly. Ooh. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments when we're done, so no worries about that. But I'm gonna cover all of the ingredients really quick with you uh, before we get started. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some shredded chicken breast. Um, you're also gonna want some green enchilada sauce as well as some green chilies, um, some reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese, and some reduced fat, low fat cream cheese. And that is it. Um, a little bit of cooking spray as well. So what I've already done today is I already prepared my chicken. And so what I did with the chicken today was I just took my chicken breast and I cut off um, any visible fat and then I boiled it and uh, it didn't take long at all. And then once it cooled, I just shredded. Now you can do this many different ways. You can prepare your chicken in the crock pot, in the Instapot, uh, you can buy a rotisserie chicken, um, all of those things. Um, but I just boiled it today and it worked just fine. So I've got that all ready and weighed out to the appropriate measurements. And I just got through cooking my enchilada sauce, so it's still hot. So, all we're gonna do to this enchilada sauce is we're gonna add in that cream cheese, okay, and the low-fat uh, yogurt. So it's the Greek yogurt, okay? So we have that. All right, and we're just gonna whisk that together, okay? So remember, it's a green enchilada sauce. And so while it's still warm, you just mix in that cream cheese and that uh, Greek yogurt. Oh my goodness, that is looking so yummy. And we're just gonna do that until <laughs> the lumps are gone. All right, so it's a little lumpier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> which only means that my cream cheese wasn't completely softened. So tip number one, or maybe that was tip number two, <laughs> you wanna make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature so that way it blends in very easily. All right, there we go. So it's just nice and thick and all blended together, okay. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And next we're gonna take that casserole dish. And again, I've got my uh, Corning Ware. I love this. I've had this set since I believe the 70s, believe it or not. Um, and it's held up all these years, so I'm keeping it till it breaks. All right. So anyways, I've already sprayed my casserole dish with uh, some cooking spray. And so the first thing we're gonna do is take those green chilies. Now the recipe that I will be posting in the comments below um, calls for whole sliced green chilies. So I bought these green chilies, didn't pay attention evidently, and I got diced instead of whole. Don't worry, it's all good. The flavor is still gonna be there. But what you would do with those whole chilies is cut them in half, spread them open and lay them in that casserole dish. But it's all good, so I'm just gonna take those diced chilies 
and I'm just going to put it in the bottom of that casserole dish. And I did drain these really well. And so I'm just gonna flatten these in the bottom of the casserole. Now this dish is gonna have a little bit of a kick to it uh, because of the green chilies. So you can either use uh, mild ones or you can get the hot ones. I got the hot ones because we like it spicy and hot at our house. All right. So got the green chilies all laid out in the bottom. Okay. And so this is a layered dish. And so I have more green chilies that we're gonna be adding on the second layer. So all we're gonna do Next is we're just gonna take that uh, chicken and we're going to put half of the chicken on top of the green chilies. All right, so here we go. And I'm just grabbing and <laughs> pouring it on the top. No fancy measuring here um, because it's all good and I've already weighed the total amount. All right. So we got that, and then we're going to take half of that enchilada sauce and put on top of that. And we're just gonna spread that on top. Okay. Very easy. All right. So it's just all spread on the top. And then we're going to take our shredded mozzarella cheese, and we're going to put that on top. All right, and then we get to do it all over again. So we're gonna take the rest of those green chilies. So this is what it looks like so far. So we're gonna take the other half of those green chilies, and now we're gonna layer that on top. The thing with the green chilies, you do wanna make sure they're really well drained. And so because of um, mine being more uh, diced green chilies, um, it is going to be a little bit different than if I had the whole ones to where it would be more like an enchilada, okay? But it's a casserole and it has great flavor, so it's all good. All right. So where is everyone tuning in from today? We'd love to hear. If you wouldn't mind jotting it in the comments, and uh, that way I know you're here and where you're chiming in from. Okay. So we have our green chilies. Now we're gonna put in the rest of our chicken right on top of that. Now I did cut this recipe in half because it's only the two of us here, uh, but this recipe actually makes six servings. And so you would put it in like a nine by 13 pan um, if you're making the full recipe. All right, so now I have our second layer going on. I've already got our green chilies and our chicken, and now it's for the rest of our enchilada sauce. So that's just gonna go right on top. Boy, I can't wait to try this. It smells delicious. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you can see me do this okay. All right. A little bit more sauce to put on and I'm just trying to spread it around just a little bit so it's evenly coated. Now this goes in a 375 degree preheated oven as well. All right. Perfect. Okay, so then we have our enchilada sauce on top. And now the final step is to add that last little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese. And we just sprinkle that right on top. Ooh, 
voila. So this is gonna go in um, the 375 degree oven for 40 minutes and then it'll be time to eat. So I did not make two of these so I could taste test it in front of you today, but I will show you somewhere along the line what that looks like when it's all cooked and all those flavors are together. So I may, may even put that in my stories a little bit later this evening. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. It's green chili and chicken enchilada bake casserole. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. Hey, Christina. Hey, I've got two Christinas watching today. <laughs> so welcome guys, I'm so glad you're here. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Um, please give me some thumbs up, a little bit of a heart if you really love it. And uh, keep on watching and stay in tune for more recipes to come. And I love sharing these with you. So hope you have a great day, a fabulous weekend, and go enjoy. Let's go eat. Bye-bye.